My name is Rock and I'm going to show you how to make a cooking stove for Bahamas briquettes. Uh, the cooking stove is made according to Larry Vinyarski's rocket stove model uh, and it's made out of a mixture of three materials. Uh, for this stove we're going to use uh, six parts of sawdust, one part of water and two parts of clay. We're going to mix it well and we're going to pile it around plastic pipes that are used for making of Bahamas briquettes. So first we take the pile of clay and make holes in it to separate the sawdust on top. We mix in the sawdust and water gradually while we keep mixing clay. Mixing clay takes lots of time, but it's really important that we mix them at the, at all the ingredients really well. Mm. Uh, the quantities of different materials uh, depends on the qualities of clay. Uh, so it's suggestible that you talk with local pottery makers who know the local clay well so they know how much of any of these mixtures you have to use to have a good durable but insulated material so once the clay starts to form a ball um, it's ready to uh, to apply it to plastic pipes and finally make the stove we've mixed this clay before so you actually need like four times the quantity that we've used before for mixing. So we take the plastic pipe and angle it according to its 45 degrees angle that it's being pre-cut. The pipes are formed like this and the, we pile the clay around the pipes to form the stone. We can start with a longer pipe and start to put the clay and form the clay a bit, make it easier. We really try to fill the gaps with the clay so that there's no air underneath The same way as we did the first pipe, we do with the second pipe, it just that this one is shorter.
and you have to be careful that the book might match, which we can check looking through the top. Once we have the basic form of the stove finished, uh, we're gonna make pot holders and briquette holders. Briquette holders preheat the surface of the briquette. And a piece of clay and put it on the top surface with approximate the size of the finger of the space. This will make sure that the gas is coming out of the pot, fall out of the stove, fall out of the pot and go out of the stove, touching as much pot as possible. You have to make three of these. So when you're finished with all the details, uh, we can pull the pipes out. First, we can do it with the top one. And then the horizontal one. And straighten the edges. We've added more briquette holders here, so we can use we can use them as briquette dryers once we are cooking for several hours and just dry briquettes maybe for the next day or so. Clay needs a week or two to get dry, and when it's dry, we put it in a kiln and fire it up on minimum 800 degrees Celsius. We can also use the door in, in front of the stove to manipulate the volume of the fire much better. 